Hey, what's up, everyone? It's SL Robinson 03. Just wanted to go over our week one victory against Middle Tennessee State. And we had it was a victory, 40 to 21. Wanted to hit some topics, uh, you know, go over some of the some of the positives, some of the negatives that I saw during the game. Um, all in all, though, you know, obviously it was a it was a good victory for us. It's always good to finish uh, finish the game off with a win and start the season out one and zero. But I did want to uh, talk about a few things. Um, I think the offense, you know, to begin the game, you know, obviously we're in a new system. Josh Gaddis' um, new system, it's uh, the uh, pro spread style. And I, I think it looked it, it looked a little lackluster uh, in the first quarter. Um, I think, you know, we were still trying to find our way a little bit in that first quarter. Uh, Shea did have that fumble. To begin with, to begin the, the first quarter, um, and then Middle Tennessee took it took it down and, and scored a touchdown there. Um, I think offensively though we're going to be okay. Just going to take some time. You know we were without we were without Donovan Peoples Jones. Um, he's probably our best uh, wide receiver, and so with with us not having him, you know that obviously uh, played a part. But altogether, the offense looked. Look good. Um, Zach Charbonnet, I mean, you can't say enough about him and his play um, in the game. And he had eight carries, 90 yards. That's well over a first down per carry. I think it was 11.2 11, 11 average on that. So he played well. You even could see him pick up some blitzes. Uh, he picked up one blitz I can think of in particular. And um, I think Shea was able to hit uh, Tariq Black. Uh, for a touchdown pass off of it, uh, he he just did a good job, I think, especially as a true freshman. Um, hopefully, he's uh, just as good next week against Army. Um, but but he played well. Christian Turner as well uh, on the offensive end. I like that he changed that number to three. Looks way better on him uh, out of Buford, Georgia. And um, I mean, he he did a great job as well. I think he had forty nine yards rushing. The receivers. Uh, they, they look good. Uh, Tariq Black, 80 yards receiving. Nico Collins, 49. Both of them had a touchdown apiece. Uh, once we can get uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones back in the mix, I think things are going to look even better. Um, defensively, um, I think I think Vincent Gray really stood out defensively. He's uh, also a red, he's a red shirt freshman, and he stepped up. And played the run, filled filled the run real well. Um, came up on some screen passes and and took care of those screens. I think he had four or five tackles in the game. He he looked good. Uh, I think he's he's got a promising future. I was I was happy to see Ambry Thomas. He got that interception early on in the second quarter. Didn't really know if he was going to play or not. Um, you know he had colitis. He was playing in, you know he he'd been battling that um during the off season. But it was good to see him. If you notice, though, he didn't return for us. You know, typically he would be our kickoff returner. Um, so I guess they're still trying to figure that out. Um, but it was good to see him there. The defense looked good. We did have some issues early on with O'Hara, the quarterback. You know, he did. Uh, they, they were throwing little short, little short screens, dump offs, just, you know, to I guess to take advantage of our bliss in defense. You know, we got an aggressive defense that Don Brown likes to run. And so they they took advantage of that early on. But we, we got our feet under us um, and, and looked a lot better um, second quarter on through the rest of the game. Jordan Glasgow, hey, <laughs> seems like he's been there forever, right? He had two sacks on the game, in the game, and that was great. It was great. Khalid Hudson, he had six tackles, led the team in tackles. Uh, he had a he had a, a tip punt, you know. I don't know if they considered it a block punt or not, but he definitely tipped it, um, forcing it to be a very short punt. He's going to have to step up and be the leader of the defense, you know. Uh, and with Devin Bush gone, with Sean Gary, uh, Winovich is gone now. So it's Khalid Hudson's year to step up and be and be that vocal leader and the leader on the field. I think, you know, last season, he took a step back versus his sophomore year, but I think this season, with him being that leader on the field, he you'll see him really step up and play well. He did a, he did a great job, I think, as well. Um, 
on defense. It was um, it was a it was a good game to see um, Dylan McCaffrey as well at, at the quarterback spot. We saw him a little bit uh, in the first half, but in the second half, you know, he did get a lot more playing time because we were up. Uh, my only thing with the with the Dylan McCaffrey thing is. When are we going to let him air it out? You know, it's, it's been rare that we see him do that. You know, he does run a lot of read option. Um, and so we know he has some speed. You know, no, he's not his brother Christian or anything like that. But he's got some speed. He runs the read option well. But when are we going to let him throw that football? You know, I, I haven't really seen him uh, throw it, read the defense or anything yet. So it'd be interesting to see him see him, you know, take that step or see the see the offense at least give him the opportunity to start throwing that football a little bit. Okay, and so for our defense, I think the defense looked a little anxious early on, um, kind of giving up those screen passes, especially on the first drive there. We gave up some a couple of big plays. They went in and scored a touchdown real quick off the bat. So I think to start, you know, we were on our heels a little bit just eager you know I'm sure we had the juices flowing just temp uh, ready to make something happen eager um, and so we kind of gave up a few big plays but all together we, we held O'Hara in check f for the most part after the first quarter um, we, we we had some jumps, uh, some some false starts, or I'm sorry, some offsides uh, calls in the, in the game that kind of showed you know that eagerness and, and us trying to jump the snap. Khalid Hudson had one, um, but other than that, things worked out pretty well for us defensively. We did not work up front as t as well as I thought we would have. I thought uh, Quiddy Pay. Um, and those guys up front would have would have done a little bit more when it came to getting to the quarterback. But I think that has something to do with them kind of keeping us uh, off kilter with some of those screen passes and the short dump offs, like I had said uh, earlier. But next week we have uh, Army coming into town. Let me know, guys, how you feel about Army coming into town. Uh, you know, a lot of people have us on upset alert. Upset alert for me. I, I'm, I'm really not seeing that now. Army. Anytime you play an Army team, whether they're a ranked Army team like this one will be, or if they're not a ranked Army team, they're gonna be disciplined. You know, so we have to, we have to, you know, make sure we're we're staying on our keys, uh, staying at home, not over pursuing um, because of the type of offense they run. So we know that they're gonna be well disciplined well coached they're going to play from the beginning of the game to the end so we're going to get the best that army has to offer but i don't think that their best is is anywhere near ours um we're going to be fine i believe but they do have us on upset alert they've been talking about it all summer um leading into the fall here so we'll see just you know comment below let me know if i missed something that you guys may have saw something that you guys uh May have thought about that, that went on in the Middle Tennessee State game, and and, and your feelings and uh, comments on the upcoming week against Army. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today. Peace and love, and remember always go blue.